Hey everybody, so long time no see. Um, I have a sleeping baby and I'm probably about 20 minutes to go through this video. So I really wanted to get a video out because I have been stitching. Okay, so I'm going to be editing a lot and inputting pictures and stuff. So, uh, Roger Rabbit stitch along. Picture will go here. Um, and she just released the second part. So I'm excited to get this part done so I can start on the second one. Let me move my needle minder out of the way. Um, so here we are. So the first of the Roger Rabbit um, is Droopy and he's in the elevator. Um, so this is what I have so far and I'll have to do some back stitching and stuff. But there's my little needle minder. Um, I get almost all of my needle minders at, I think it's Mad Minders on Etsy. I love their stuff, so I'll link all that below. Um, so, there's that, and this is done on 16 count, uh, Picture This Plus, and Dapple. So, everybody else is doing theirs on, like, a really cute, like, yellow and bright colors and stuff, but it's a big one, and this is the biggest that I had, so... I'm gonna use it but I think it'll look great uh, I wanted to do a video today because I and I'll put in a picture of a before but I just got my hair cut and I got a little new mom do pretty cute I'll give you a little view here in case anybody cares but it was expensive so I want to show it off so you know it's kind of angled and then it's got you know choppy stuff in the back so I like it. It's a little shorter than I was wanting, but um, it needed it because my hair, you'll see the before of my, my hair. I needed a real haircut. So I was like, hey, I'm spruced up. I went to work today. I got a haircut. Let's do a video. Okay, so Roger Rabbit. That's the, um, that one. And next is just like a little whip, just a random one. This is the one I work on either in the car, if I'm waiting in line somewhere or something. Um, or I actually worked on it not too long ago. I had the baby with me and we were traipsing around town and he had a big fit. And so I had to put him back in the car, leave the store, put him back in the car and drive around the parking lot until he calmed down. And so I had stopped in the parking lot and I was like collecting myself and I stitched on this for a few minutes and it actually helped. It was great. So this is, I do have a picture of it, um, Up, Up and Away by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I just liked, I don't know, I'm kind of going through a air balloon phase. I don't know. I just like the look of air balloons encrusted. So I have several of those actually. And there's like a weird lighting thing on my face. I understand that and I can't really do much about it. So just bear with me. I'll put it on this side. Does that help? No. It does if I hold it way back here. Okay. So, um, super cute. Nice bright colors. And I am using the called for. Uh, oh, actually, I've changed it up a little bit. So, here's my changes. If you are interested. And then, uh, this is just on like a baby blue even weave from Hobby Lobby. And that's what I have so far. And I even have my little matching needle minder from the same place, I do believe. So there's that. I like working on that. That one's really easy. Um, I've been putting my whips, smaller ones, in these little bins from the dollar store. Dollar Tree. And they've been working out really well. I just grab it and it can go with me. Okay, next up. We have... Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I haven't started that one yet. I've really just been working on, I don't have a lot of stitching time right now, so I've really just been picking you up where I can. So I've really been just working on the Robert, Robert, the Roger Rabbit Sal. That's not true. I did a gift. Hold on, I'll go get it. Okay, so I did finish this for a co-worker. Um, long story short, I'm not sure she will be getting it, so we'll see. Um... But it's this one, and I am going to finish it in the hoop and just put some fabric on the back of it. 
Um, she's a vegetarian, so I thought it was kind of cute. There's a lot of stitching in this. It turned out really cute, but that's a lot of stitching for it to be so little. But, and I hate that I kind of spent that much time on something that's for a coworker that I'm not even sure um, is deserving, to be honest. So, but that's another story for another day. So, moving on. Um, that's one. That's a plan. That's a plan. It might be all the whips I have. Okay. So, on to plans. And like I said, I'm kind of focusing on that Roger Rabbit sale because it's so cute and I'm really enjoying it. But, if I am so inclined, I have two, three things that I could start easily. One of them is the, uh, if I have a picture of it, I do. Hooray. Okay, so this is from um, Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And, you know, each magazine has a part in it for you. So, this is my Quaker Christmas sampler. And I just love it. It has all the different colors and things in it, which I enjoy. So, I have all the floss and everything kitted up for that. Ready to go. Um, and my fabric picked out. It's a very, you know, neutral... This is 16 Count Ada from Fiber on a Whim and Cappuccino. So, that would be ready to go if I'm ever so inclined. Um, next up is one that I put together just willy-nilly. Uh, this is Needle Bling Designs Spooky. And I just love, again, I just love the colors. Colors get to me. You know, if it's a cute color, then I'm all for it. Sorry for the glare. So, um, but they used purple fabric on there. And I have this really pretty glittered or opalescent. What do they call it? Opalescent? Opal. Yeah, opalescent. This is 18 Count Ada. Baron is the color, B-A-R-R-E-N, by uh, Be Stitch Me. I love her fabrics and silks and stuff. In fact, I have some haul to show you because I get her um, Fabric and Silk of the Month Club. And I'm so glad I signed up for that because I'm loving it. So, but this came in one of her boxes. I also get her boxes, her mystery boxes. And I have another one coming up. I got her Halloween box this year. I'm super excited for it. Uh, but anyway, so it's this purple, really pretty, and I have um, one of her silks that's a pretty close color to this orange that they use. I'm super excited about that. It only has three colors in it, so that's pretty cool. Well, I guess technically four. Okay, next. This one I'm really excited about, too. Um, it's by... It's the uh, fairy tale pin cushion like sampler kind of thing by Tiny Modernist. Um, this is Pinocchio. And I don't know that I'll do all of these, but she's releasing these one a month for the whole year. And so I think we're already at like six or seven of them. Um, I really like a lot of them. I have the Red Riding Hood, Pinocchio, Pinocchio. I have Goldilocks, um, I have Cinderella. Um, and I'm going to do them all in one big thing, which I will put up the frame um, that she has available. And I have that all kitted up. And I'm going to be doing it on whatever this is. Petals, I think. It looks like it's white. Okay, it's 14 count. Ada. Petals. Picture this plus in the color petals. And it's, you can't really see it on camera. And it, honestly, it's hard to tell. But that's what I kind of like about it. It's like this very, very faint. I don't know if you can. It's not showing up. It just looks white. But it's not. It's like a very, very faint pink, green kind of watercolor kind of thing. I thought that was very fairy tale-y. So I'm really excited about that one. Starting on that. Okay. Haul. Oh, here's the frame. Yeah. So each month she um, puts out one of the fairy tale things. It's a mystery or whatever. 
And if you want to, you can buy the frame pattern and do it all at once. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I think she has like six or seven out now. Six, I guess, since it's June. Um, so the seventh one will be out soon, whatever. But they're really cute and I'm really excited about this. So I have this all ready to go. Let me put that in the bag there. Okay. Now on to haul. So. Like I mentioned before, um, I have signed up for the Fabric of the Month and Silk of the Month Club by Be Stitch Me. And I've gotten two months so far and I really, really like it. Um, this last bit of silks, I just got these in the mail the other day. That's why they're so readily available. Um, hold on. So this was the silks. It's like coffee was the theme. It says all these really pretty browns. Is that all of them? I guess so. There's five, right? Yeah. So I just think they're so pretty. So there's that. Yeah. I like it. Okay, and then um the fabric, okay, so the fabric last month was this, uh, so I guess you can pick, but so I chose to have um, a combo of neutral and colors for her fabric of the month. And so uh, she does, I guess, even months. Okay, so even months is color, and then odd months is um, neutral. So this is May's, and it's a neutral. And it is, I got a 28 count Jobelin. Just because I have a lot of linen and Ada in my stash already, so I thought I'd kind of switch it up and try out some Jobelins. And I don't know, I might end up changing it, because Jobelin's kind of weird. It's like really sturdy. But anyway, so here's the colors. Just really nice gray, marbled, whatever. It's very nice. I like it very much. And then this month was this really pretty blue. And my first thought was to do the fairy tale in this, but I kind of want to do it in a neutral. So I like that petals, but I could do it in the gray. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I love the Be Stitch Me Fabric of the Month clubs so far. Loving it. Okay. Um, I got some patterns. Now, I kind of buy patterns and stuff all the time, but this is just the most recent. They just came the other day. Um, and it's a little one. This is from 123 Stitch. Okay, so this is Patriotic Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. I've seen this, a couple people do this, and it's just really cute. So I got that. And I got, um, this was expensive, but I, I don't know. I just really, really like it. So I bought it. This is from CW Samplers Silo, which is Quaker. I can't be in the frame with it apparently but I like it it has like the little Dracula and you know two colors yeah two colors and I just love it it's just different I'm not a big Quaker traditional sampler kind of stitcher so this is right up my alley it's like a Quaker but a little edgier you know and then last in the haul of patterns is Winter Way by Little Stitch Girl and I have been I follow her on Instagram so she posted this and I was like oh, I can't wait for that to be out because I love all the blues I love 
winter stitching in blues and Christmas stitching in blues. So I just love that. And I wish this was a little more that I could use this for this. I don't know. What do y'all think? You think this would look good with this? Ah! I dropped it. Okay. So that's pattern haul and fabric haul. Oh, I have a little more fabric haul. Now this comes from um, somebody online. I'm being distracted. Am I? No, I'm not being distracted. Okay. This comes from somebody online. Uh, I'll put her information down below. She's actually not too far from me. She's in Georgia. So it got here super quick, of course. But, um, of course, you know, I've done this before. I've, I've looked at fabric online and looking for a particular color. And of course, when it comes here, it is not the color that I'm looking for. Fox turtle is the color. And this was a much darker green, almost brown. Um, but it's pretty, you know, in its own right. Let me open it up so you can really see it. I mean, it's very, very pretty. Kind of like a swampy kind of green. So, very drapey. Um, next up is a 32 count. It's opalescent. It doesn't say that's what it is, but it's what it is. Um, and a winter's dusk. And again, on screen, it looked more gray and it's quite purple. It's very pretty, but it's quite purple. So what I got this for, I will not be using it for, but that's okay. And then lastly, now this does look pretty much how it looked online. Um, 28 count. I guess it's just a linen. Um, and Santa's cocoa. It's this really pretty brown. Um, very drapey. And then she had a couple of these, and I wish she had more of these because it was really neat. Um, little finishing kits. So you get fabric. It's like a little, well, actually, it looks like more of a linen cotton kind of blend. But this one has watermelons on it. So, you know, this would be, this could be your backing fabric on your cross stitch piece. And then this, uh, velvet you know goes with it that all kind of matches so that would be you know if you were going to do a pillow cross stitch finished pillow that would be really cute and then she included a bunch of different trims to go with it that all kind of matches so you have this little pom-pom trim that's green and this looks like a shoelace <laughs> It might be a shoelace. <laughs> You're killing me. What am I doing? I don't I'm know. It's just you. weird. Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna mess with you. I'm sure I was gonna you're going to. Go. <laughs> you don't need to. I know it. I'm like, oh. Thanks so much for watching. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.